My name is Rudy Verhoof. I am a former Trinity Western Athletic volleyball player. Came in as a pretty average to poor volleyball player and uh, I, I developed really quite well here and um, since then been with the national team. Been playing overseas um, now for three years professionally in France and Germany and uh, we just qualified for the Olympics so uh, kind of on cloud nine right now. I've been with the program now for for a while like I started with national team in 2009 and um, I, I've I've been on the court off the court um, this this past tournament I actually wasn't on the court a whole lot um, but with volleyball it's such a team sport that no matter what role you're in you're making an impact I've been in experiences with national team where I was the guy and, and I came up with huge plays and I've also been in an experience where I'm just there supporting and trying to give advice and trying to trying to lead the team that way so it's so often that athletes are um, their their main identity is in being uh, for me a volleyball player or for someone else a soccer player or that's where you find your total worth and your value and still like I'm still defined by who God says I am and it's not I'm, I'm not changed you know we can get these these huge highs or these huge lows with with sport that that's natural and it, it's okay to feel those things but if our identity is rooted in Jesus, then we have this overall, this overarching um, peace that no matter what kind of happens through our, through our sport or through our life, that it's, it's, it's all okay. And, and we're not defined by whether I become an Olympian or whether I don't become an Olympian or whether I get the gold medal or whether I don't get the gold medal. We're defined by who Jesus says we are. And uh, that for me has been life-changing. There's so many times that we're let down, especially in sport. Like there's only often one winner, right? So we're always let down, let down, let down. Um, and then life too, there's so many different things that we, we come across that are, um, that are not easy to navigate. When I'm, you know, hit down with either a defeat or, or a tough loss. Okay, right now I'm, I'm pretty excited about going to the Olympics, but it, it was very close to not going to the Olympics, you know? And, uh, and it's only through, through that, like, you know, my idea of God's plan, his sovereignty, and just trusting that he does have a good plan for me, um, even though I may not see it in the moment, um, that I, I, can, I can persevere through those times because it's, it's, life isn't easy, sport isn't easy, and there's so many disappointments, but um, just trusting that, you know, in 20 years or in 30 years or whenever, we're going to look back and like, oh yeah, God did that for that reason, you know. Um, it's hard to see in the moment, but I, I'm just trusting that God's sovereign plan is, is, uh, is there for me and, and that's what I rely on, even though I'm often blinded to, to what it is.